Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is having a little look at a Mini Cooper. Now, this is my son's car. Um, he re only just got it, he's only just turned 17. So this is his first car. And uh, as expected with a, with a second hand car, it's got a couple of little issues that we need to iron out. Um, and they are behind the, uh, behind the door panel. Um, so what I thought I'd do in this video was um, demonstrate how to actually remove the door card because it may be a bit of a mystery to some people um, and what I'll do I'll run through all the steps to get it off to make it dead easy and how to put it back on so uh, in order to get it off what we need is a t30 socket with a ratchet or similar a t30 and a pry tool of some kind now this is just made of plastic benefit of this is I can jam this into little um, little plastic components wherever it needs to go and it won't um, it won't mark any of the paneling now you can obviously use a flat blade screwdriver that's entirely up to you if you don't have one of these but bear in mind that a, that a flat blade screwdriver can be a little bit more um, destructive in use anyway enough of that let's dig into it <laughs> Okay, to get this panel off, it is actually pretty straightforward. However, it won't be immediately apparent to everybody how it comes off. Now, as you can see here, we've got two holes, and in those holes, there's a T30 screw in each one, but there's actually four. There's another one round about here behind this armrest, and there's another one behind this little red reflector. So, what we'll do, take our little red pry tool and pop the reflector out, and there is the other, the other screw. Now, to get the armrest off, there is a uh, like a sprung clip, which is actually part of the door card itself, not the actual armrest. And what we need to do is take our tool, push that in there. And what we're doing is we're pushing the clip back in and then she will slide forward just like so. So here's, the, here's what we were actually acting upon with our clip. But as I slid it in, it pushed it in and it engages into there on the, uh, on the actual armrest itself. And as you can see, these little, tangs here engage with these little tangs so it's a case of sliding it forward once you've pushed that in and then it will come off and that little clip there goes into this hole and as you can see inside the hole there is another 230 screw so that is the four screws that we need to remove in order to take the panel off so what we need next is our t30 torx okay so let's whip them all out all four now what i will say is that they're all different lengths and we will see that in a second and obviously when they go back in just make sure they go back into the correct place um, they don't necessarily always come all the way out the hole but it's not a massive drama That is all the hardware removed that's holding the, 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 the door card to the physical door panel. Last thing we want to take off is the surround around the handle. This, you, you don't actually need to use that. You probably get away without using it. It comes off fairly easily, as you can see. It's just a couple of little plastic clips that hold it in place. And we can pop that to one side. Right then. Next thing we want to do is we need to get our ply tool, go all the way around the door card because there's little plastic clips that hold the edges of the door card to the door. So that's what we're gonna do next. <clears throat> right then, taking our tool, and what we're gonna do is basically jam it in behind, and as you can hear, that click then was one of the clips being popped out. Now, obviously, if you do this with a screwdriver, this is where you can risk damaging the paint on the actual body, and if you damage the paint through to the metal, obviously, you're gonna promote corrosion, so that's worth bearing in mind. And basically, what we're gonna do is take the tool and just move it all the way around, like so, if the screw falls out like that, then just pick it up and just keep going all the way around 
popping all the clips out. And as you can see, they're coming out pretty easily. And there we go. That is all the ones on the actual card. All that's remaining now is across the top. Okay, so with the door card loose like this, there is retaining clips all the way across the top of the door. Now, on, um, say for example, the one series, you have to lift it up in order to get the door card off. On this, what we do is pull it towards us, away from the door, and then the little door pin, just lift it over like so, and that is the door card released from the door. Now, behind here, last thing we wanna do, just disconnect the puddle light from its connector, and that is the door card removed. So, as you can see, inside here, we've now got access to the door speaker. This is obviously the factory one. If you were to replace it with an aftermarket one with a bit more punch, then obviously you've now just got to remove those four screws, disconnect the connector on the back, and away you go. Inside here, you've got the door lock and the solenoid assembly. Obviously, you can now access all of that. And inside here, we've got the, uh, the motor for the window and obviously the associated regulator and obviously the bottom of the glass. We can access all of that from in here. We've got quite a decent opening. Whilst we're talking about the opening, obviously this seal here is the vapor barrier between the outside of the car and the inside of the car. When we put it on, just make sure um, that this isn't damaged. Uh, obviously, if this is damaged in any way or not fitted correctly, then water that runs um, down the inside of the, down the glass past the seal and into the door can potentially end up inside the car and you'll end up with wet carpets so that's worth bearing in mind okay so that's the removal what we'll do now is we'll run through the installation so on the inside of the door panel then here you can see the slots that engage with each of these clips and you can see how they come apart and these are the little plastic um, the little plastic clips that we were using the pry tool to uh, to remove so that's worth bearing in mind this is obviously just a little bit of sound deadening and uh yeah let's uh let's get it back on so obviously the first thing we need to do is reconnect the puddle light back down here just in case of just plugging it back in like so and then the first step is to take the door pin for the door lock and feed it into its little hole and then across the top, obviously we want to get all of those clips into those little slots. Once they're in place, just give it a little. And there we are, simple as that. Okay, now what we want to do is obviously all the little, all those little clips should be roughly aligned with their holes. Um, and it's just a case of going all the way around, banging them into position, and they should go together pretty easily. And there we go, that's them all in. Now, as I mentioned before, the screws are different lengths. The two longer ones go in the front, and the two smaller ones at the back. them obviously over tightening them on the plastic housing but can potentially crack the plastic you don't want to do that because you don't want to damage the door card you don't have to replace it and that's all those four next take our little trim piece take our little reflector now you'll see there's only three tangs on it there isn't one at the bottom and there's only three tangs across the top there isn't one at the bottom so just make sure you get it orientated correctly and pop it in just like so Next, we're gonna take our, our armrest. Now the hook goes into this hole and obviously these little tangs meet with these little tangs on the arm and then that little clip there will engage with this hole. 
So it's a case of just getting the back clip in, get it in roughly aligned, and then pushing it backwards just like so. There we go. That is it. And as you can see, it absolutely flew together. Took absolutely no time to put it back on whatsoever. So yeah, if you ever need to um, access the inside of your doors, chain speakers, door locks, solenoids, or anything to do with the window, now you know. Okay guys, hopefully you found this video entertaining, useful. Um, uh, if you did, then hit the like button uh, and subscribe for more for, from the Mini. Um, I'm, I'm expecting I have to do quite a, three, uh, quite a few things with this car um, in, the, uh, in the coming months and years. So yeah, hopefully you'll, uh, you'll stick along. Take care guys, bye bye now.